This is the new monster from Nightwatch Company, the NS14 sporting 14 SFQ 55.4 LEDs will give you over 43,000 lumens claimed by manufacturer, which is just insane coming out of two 21700 form factor flashlights. Interested? Let's stay with me until the end of this video to find out more. Nightwatch NS14 can be purchased through the Nils Gadgets website. Remember that our community has a unique 50% off coupon code that I list below this video, so if you know anyone that would be interested in buying the Nightwatch NS14 or any other flashlight from Nils Gadgets, just let them know. It helps to support the channel otherwise, so why not? Yup, it does come with this plain cardboard box with bubble foil inside. Also a neat box for two 21700 cells. Last but not least, this gigantic looking flashlight. Oh! But before you play with it, this is the kit version, so you'll have to unscrew the tail cap by the way, really nice threads, and remove this cardboard insulation film. You gotta pray that short circuit does not happen here. By the way, if you are already here, look at this one. We've got nice bypass of the spring, because this Nightwatch actually again uses the physical button instead of electronic one, so I, I'm not really sure how this button can handle it, but as you can see they do everything that it does. When it comes to batteries, Neil provides two 21700 cells with button top solution, just brass rings soldered here, that are 3000 mAh 20C claimed. So they should provide enough juice to power those 14 current hungry LEDs. And down there we've had nice plain contact with no spring on the driver's side. Well, it appears battery tube can be unscrewed and revealed unanalyzed threads with nice o-ring. Well, it is really a nice contact here. Wow, looking good. I have to admit that the head is, is quite massive. You can feel the thermal mass here and look at those radiators and cooling fins. It might help removing this massive heat from the LEDs, however not for long mind you. We've got some engravings here, but hot is definitely an understatement here, but on the other side, well, this might be an accurate word for this flashlight, don't you think? From the design perspective, this Nightwatch NS14 is really simple, you've got nice tactical ring for the cigar grip, but this flashlight is really heavy, so it does not work really well. However, we do have those lanyard attachments, four of them along the tactical ring, but also you do have another full one here, so I suppose you can attach a shoulder strap to this flashlight, but it is not really that heavy. Just to be sure, loaded with batteries, it weighs just under 500 grams, or if you use an imperial system, it is just like that. One pound and one and a half ounces. Well, another linear attachment can be found on the tail cap with this gorgeous looking gigantic switch. It is rubber covered, obviously. It is quite long flashlight though, symmetrical and really nice looking. The knurling here provides a good grip, but also looks quite tactical in my taste. Alright, the stainless steel bezel, 
obviously with chaos engraving definitely great description but here on the business end we do have this beautifully sculpted reflector for 14 leds that look similar to the cree xhp 50.3 high intensity however they are slightly larger so really nice chinese looking leds that provide a really high power illumination and obviously nice addition greenish anti-reflective coating to reduce the green tint always welcomed orange peel reflector obviously to probably a little make the beam a little bit smooth however it is really nice in real life when it comes to ui it is quite simple we've got single tactical switch at the end so depress fully until you heard the click to turn the flashlight on do it again to turn the flashlight off when the flashlight is on you have press to cycle between four different modes so low medium one medium two and high and double tap quickly to go into the insanely bright turbo output triple click for strobe mode and then return with single click or just single depression of the switch without any click because the click will turn the flashlight off so the, the, the ui is really really simple however make sure that you double tap the switch until you say wow because the high mode while it is impressive it certainly is not the turbo mode right all right so when it comes to the numbers you can see them right now on the screen along with the manufacturer's rating you can clearly see that there is a slight discrepancy between them as any hot rod flashlight, NS14 will sustain a fraction of initial output. However, as you can see, we've got nice flat output regulation here. So after 26 seconds, we still have over 28,830 lumens. And after 30 seconds mark, so ANSI level, we've got 20, over, a little bit over 24,000. So still an impressive output. Then the slow step down over the course of 90 seconds to around 2032 lumen level, with flashlight hand achieving 75 degrees Celsius, which is just insane. Then, as you can see, we've got sustainable lumen level around 2150 lumens over the course of 54 minutes before the flashlight actually turns off. So the flashlight body, it stabilizes around 47 degrees, mind you that the, the heat accumulates around the head, mostly because of the long body, it will not transfer directly to your hands. So it is really safe here. Where things start to get interesting is high mode and medium too, because here, as you can see, I measure around 1700, 250 lumens at start, but as you can see, the output slightly increases over the course of 36 seconds to achieve maximum of 17,850 lumens. And then we've got, again, slow step down over the course of like 20 seconds to around 5,766 lumen level, and then another step down to almost zero lumens the flashlight practically shuts off because of some algorithm heat i'm not really sure and then the brightness started to increase again so as you can see we've got some minor fluctuations in output over the course of like 13 minutes and uh, here the flashlight was able to sustain only 1300 lumen compared to over 2000 at turbo output with over runtime slightly higher obviously one hour and two minutes before the flashlight turned off and the flashlight body here stabilized around 60 degrees celsius despite sustaining lower output definitely weird last but not least medium 2 4500 lumens at startup and as you can see we've got nice six and a half minutes flat output regulated mode before initial step down over the course of 21 seconds around 752 lumen level flashlight body achieving 48 degrees celsius so nothing crazy really here but as you can see the algorithm still does a huge step down and then increases the output so i'm really not liking this kind of regulation i would rather have it step down quicker but having the flat regulated level over the course of full runtime as it was in the turbo output here as you can see we've got around 1636 lumen level sustained over the course of 1 hour and 29 minutes before the flashlight turned off and then started to increase the output and blink so again different re reaction from the flashlight driver which is definitely inconsistent and weird for me comparing such a crazy flashlight to others is not really an easy task however i have some ideas to show you guys how did 
performs in comparison to other brands. So, let's take Acebeam X50 for instance, that is rated at similar 40-ish thousand lumens, but it's much more substantial in case of appearance, but also more like search and rescue oriented. So with 8 XHP 70.2 HD neutral white LEDs, it should give you a little bit more floody beam with a little bit more power. However, let's see how the two compare. I would also like to show the Wuben X1 Falcon with 3XHP 70.3 high intensity cool light LED to give you an idea how the 12,000 lumen flashlight shines compared to this Nightwatch monster. Last but not least, the tactical Ace Beam P70 with whooping 5000 lumens, which is still an enormous amount of light. However, compared to the more absurd tactical Nightwatch, you'll definitely see what's the difference between the two, those two. Nightwatch NS14 is a true hot rod in its sense. It does feature an incredible amount of lumens coming out of 14 Chinese SFQ 55.4 LEDs, mimicking Cree XHP 50.3 high intensity for nice throwy beam with good tint and clean beam. However, because of the hot rod 
concept, it does not sustain much lumens despite having a massive head and double 21700 cell power. The design is simplistic and minimalistic I should say, but I really like it. The knurling provides a good grip and the overall design is high quality. The name Chaos on the bezel suggests one thing and one thing only. It's gonna burn. And while I do enjoy the concept of having such high amount of lumens from, a, from such a small little flashlight, I'm not really happy with the execution of driver itself. As you could see in the runtime graph section, we've got some major fluctuations in output and inconsistency between different modes. So what I would like to see in the future is definitely an improved thermal regulation here, and also the algorithm that is responsible for the step down because the rest is really nice we've got nice tint good output uh, well for the levels maybe a lower moonlight mode would be highly appreciated by some users because 600 lumens is really not a low mode but the rest is really really nice obviously the output and performance will be limited because of just 221 700 cells design and its requirements of really high power and discharge rate because of our 14 LEDs but the concept is really nice all Nightwatch generally Nightwatch brand is going into this movement of creating lumen monsters from either single or two cells format flashlights and, and they are doing it really well I think this model promised us 2000 lumens sustainable output and it did deliver. However, in different lower modes, the inconsistency and output regulation does not meet my requirements and I'm truly disappointed. So guys, if you're looking for a hot roll like this, the Chaos might be a good option for you if you accept those disadvantages. That's all from me for today. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, hit the subscribe button to support the algorithm of this channel. If you have any questions, leave a comment down below and let me know also what do you think about the Chaos and its 14 flashlight. Highly appreciate the support guys. Thanks so much for watching and we'll see you in the next one.